Hello folks, Prasad Domala here. In this video, I'll show you how to configure uh, multi-factor authentication with uh, AWS CLI. It is strongly recommended to uh, enable MFA uh, for all your IAM users, obviously for uh, better security. And uh, AWS CLI uses um, access ID and uh, secret access key to connect to uh, the AWS account and execute uh, CLI commands. I have installed and configured AWS CLI on my uh, test Linux instance. We can execute uh, AWS uh, configure uh, list to see uh, my current configuration. So my profile name is uh, default and I have my uh, access key uh, secret key uh, set and the region is uh, set to uh, Sydney. I have also attached a force MFA policy to all my uh, IAM users in my uh, AWS account. So if I try to execute any AWS command, say for example, uh, AWS uh, EC2 describe instances, will get uh, unauthorized uh, operation uh, error even if you have access uh, to all uh, AWS services. So the AWS uh, CLI commands will work just fine with uh, access ID and secret access key if you're not uh, forcing uh, MFA. And uh, if you're forcing your IAM users to use uh, MFA, you need to generate an additional uh, security token code to execute your uh, AWS CLI commands. So let me uh, show you how to do that. The command used to generate the security token is AWS STS get session token and we need to input our MFA serial number and uh, MFA token code. This will give you a temporary security token which we need to uh, update in our uh, credentials file. I wrote a simple script which simplifies uh, this process. It's better to script this process as you might uh, use it on a daily basis if you work extensively on uh, CLI. So it will save you a lot of time. This is my uh, shell script, generate MFA secure token.sh. I have posted this script on my blog as well. So I'll leave the link in the description. Please uh, feel free to download and customize it uh, as per your uh, requirements. So let me briefly explain what I'm doing here. So first we have uh, the comments and uh, usage uh, section. Next I'm getting MFA profile name and base profile names from arguments. So the first argument would be uh, our new MFA profile name which will be created. And the second argument would be our base uh, profile name. Next I'm setting my uh, default region and default uh, output. So my default region is um, Sydney, that is AP Southeast uh, 2. And then my uh, default output is uh, set as uh, JSON. Next we have a variable called as uh, MFA serial which stores my MFA serial number. You can get this serial number from your uh, AWS uh, IAM console. Next we have a flag which is a boolean uh, used to decide if a new security token is required or not. So basically we need a security token if you do not have MFA profile configured or if your existing uh, security token is um, expired. Here we are checking if uh, MFA profile exists first and if it exists we are extracting expiration time and uh, checking if it is uh, greater than the current uh, timestamp. If it is greater than the current timestamp it means the security token is still valid and uh, we don't need to uh, create a new one. So the generate ST flag is set to false. So each security token will have expiration time which is 12 hours by uh, default and you can set it from 15 minutes to 36 hours based on your uh, security uh, requirements. Here I am doing a check if uh, generate ST flag is uh, true and if it is uh, true it will ask for the token code from your uh, MFA device and finally executes uh, AWS STS uh, get session token command. So we need to input our base profile using uh, hyphen uh, hyphen profile option and then output will be uh, text and then I'm querying for uh, credentials here. We need to provide our MFA serial using a hyphen hyphen serial number uh, option and finally uh, token code using a hyphen hyphen uh, token code option. So this command will output the results in specific order which is uh, AWS secret key and then AWS session token expiration time and then uh, AWS um, access key ID. So I'm reading them in the same order and storing the output in respective uh, variables using uh, read hyphen r. And uh, we'll be uh, using these variables in our uh, AWS uh, configure uh, commands. So here I'm setting AWS uh, secret access key, AWS uh, session token, AWS access key ID, expiration time, region and output using uh, AWS configure uh, set commands. So I have the script copied on my uh, Linux instance. So let's execute uh, generate MFA security token dot sh and then my uh, MFA profile name I'll name it as uh, default hyphen uh, MFA and then my base profile name is uh, default 
So it'll ask you for the token code. So my token code is um, 846339. And it will generate a new uh, STS token and it will update our uh, credentials file. So at this stage, if we have a look at our uh, credentials file, which will be under um, AWS and then uh, credentials, you will see a new profile is created, which is uh, called as default hyphen MFA. And we have our new uh, secret access key, session token, access key ID. And then if you have a look at um, the config file, which will be under again dot AWS slash config, you'll have a new profile called as default hyphen MFA. And then we have our expiration time here, which is 12 hours by default. And then we have region set to AP Southeast 2 and then the output is uh, JSON. Now let me execute a CLI command, say for example, AWS uh, EC2, describe uh, instances, and then I'll provide a profile name as uh, default hyphen MFA. And we should be able to uh, get the output. If we don't give the profile name, say for example, uh, AWS EC2 describe instances, you'll get uh, unauthorized uh, operation error. So the CLI commands will work only if you provide uh, your MFA based uh, profile uh, name. You can create as many profiles as you want using this script. Say for example, if you have multiple uh, AWS accounts, you can create uh, separate profiles for each account and uh, you can execute the script with respective uh, profile names. Please make sure that your uh, base profile is already created and configured with your uh, IAM access key and uh, secret access key. So that is my way of uh, managing MFA profiles and generating uh, MFA based uh, security tokens. So if you have any comments and suggestions, please uh, post them in the comment section. Hope you like the video. If you uh, do, please hit that uh, like button and subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel for more videos on uh, cloud computing. Have a good day and uh, see you in the next one.